Hey guys, my name is Lena. Welcome to the vlog. So today is just a running errands kind of getting stuff done day. Um, the first thing that I have on my list of to-dos is emails and sending out my Poshmark packages. A bunch of you guys bought stuff off of my Poshmark and I have to send it out. I It just got me like crept up on me. Um, I'm, what is this called? Diffusing some essential oils because uh, I had them left over from like last night. I kind of just forgot to finish it and what else what else what else oh i got a bunch of packages in the mail just now so i need to unbox what i ordered or pr packages i don't really know i'm pretty sure i ordered some stuff off of amazon and i think they were supposed to come today so let's go check so here's my pile of stuff so let's go ahead and unbox i don't know if the lighting's okay here okay this is from amazon I wanted a white sarong and I wanted to order it off of Misguided, but they sold out. So let's see. Oh, this is cute. Actually, wait, hold on. This goes sideways like this. So it would look like this. And it's pretty good height wise. I mean, this was not. I did not expect the highest quality, but it comes in one size, so if you're a lot, you know, smaller than me, this might overlap for you, and if you're bigger than me, this might end up being a weird cutout. It's definitely, like, can you tell that it's longer on this side than over here? So, I mean, not the best quality, but if you guys are interested, I'll link this down below for you. Um, if you're looking for a white sarong, but... I'm happy because this is what I was looking for and technically I'm like saving money because what I was going to get on Misguided would have been a lot more expensive. What's that noise? Oh, this is a hat. My sister came home. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. <laughs> I'm just opening packages. How was school? It was pretty good. Pretty good, not phenomenal. Ah, uh, this came all bent. This is so messed up. I'm gonna need to iron my hat. I saw somebody on Instagram um, wearing this, and like it was just so cute. So it was something like this. So I wanted to do a whole look with it. These off Amazon, and they came from GNC. So. Just shows you I could have ordered it from GNC. So these are the Hawaiian Shaved Ice Alani New Energy drinks. Everyone's been talking about Alani New. Everyone's been talking about, like, just, I don't know why it all of a sudden blew up. But I already have energy, like, pre-workouts and stuff. So I decided to try the energy drinks. And I've literally in my entire life never had an energy drink. I think I had a vodka Red Bull one time. And I didn't like it because I don't like the taste of Red Bull. But I'm not somebody who drinks energy drinks because I just felt like they were worse than coffee. <laughs> and at the same time, one of my friends actually really loved Red Bull and she messed up her stomach really bad drinking it. So, um, learned my lesson. Finally, an energy drink that you can feel good about consuming. Away are the days of high sugar, overly carbonated, obscenely branded beverages. We're here to make things simple with fun and unique flavors and package of 200 milligrams of caffeine, a touch of biotin, and only 10 calories per serving. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Do you want to try a sip? What do you think? It tastes like iced tea. Yeah, but it is carbonated. That's good. They're great <laughs> at opening boxes. This is cute. I was looking for a purse like this. Let me open it. It matches with the hat. Not really. It matches with my other hat. It came kind of bent. But I was looking for a purse like this on everything. Topshop, ASOS, like every website I shop on. And the ones that did have it, they were either funky colors. Um, and this one, this style, would be like, I don't know, $40, $50. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm not going to spend that much money on something I know I'm only going to use seasonally. 
so i found this on amazon again i'll link everything down below if you're looking to like purchase any of this um and it comes with this little rainbow attachment kind of like colorful thing which i thought was super cute okay so you put everything you want in there katie jump in <laughs> and okay. then you cinch it like this and so the top of your bag ends up looking like this so nobody can like see what's in there and it's kind of like flexible the only thing is this one doesn't have um, a long strap at all so it's going to be kind of difficult where you can't necessarily um, if you overpack this it's going to be very hard to hold it it's going to be like i am on my way to the post office right now it's literally almost five o'clock so I just want to make it before like it's closed. I mean, technically, I don't really need anybody's assistance. I already have um, prepaid labels, so I just have to throw it in. But um, I am going to ship out my Poshmark uh, purchases. Those of you who bought stuff, thank you. It's going to be on the way today. Oh, my Bible is making noises in my bag. Um, I have an H&M dress that I need to return, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today. I want to stop by the pet store to get um, my kitty some treats because my dad's been the one who's been like going to get her like litter and, and food and all that stuff, but uh, no one buys her treats except for me, so I wanted to pop in really quick and get some treats. Um, I feel like there was something else I needed to do, but I can't really remember. And then I just have work that I have to do, which is just like computer work, and I need to do that today, so I'm probably gonna stop by a coffee shop or something to sit down and do that because I'm the most productive when I'm in a coffee shop. Usually, I just work with how my brain feels. So I will um, sit there, and if my brain feels like it can deal with stuff today, like right now, I had my energy drink, the Alani New, which was actually pretty good, but I had a hard time finishing it. Um, but I am like super, like I know I have to be doing things, I'm tired probably because I slept weird, but, um, I, I forgot what I was saying just now, I got distracted, I, I read the sign that says, um, Jesus is risen, um, on the sign, and I forgot what I was saying, but I literally forgot what I was saying. I would love to not do oh now I remembered what I was saying what I was saying I have such a bad memory is that I work the way that my brain can handle like some days I wake up and I feel like super focused those days I take on a more tedious project for example editing or doing budgets and stuff that's like not fun but like if my brain can handle it I'll do it that day um, and on days when it's like I can't handle that, I do stuff like packaging Poshmark orders, which doesn't require too much like focus. It's more of like just read the sign and figure out which one belongs where um, and go run errands. So today's Monday and I'm just like not really feeling it. What is this car doing? But hello. Hey. Dude. Good morning. Oh my god. Alright, so I just shipped out the packages. And I went and stopped into my P.O. box and I got a package from Winky Lux, which I don't really get a lot of packages to my P.O. box because I typically just have them sent to my house. But, oh my god, this is so beautiful. Look at this package. I don't know how long this was in here. I haven't checked my P.O. box in forever. We love you so matcha lady. We just launched a matcha skincare collection we think you'll love. Enjoy. Oh my gosh. I think they sent me matcha too. Oh, they did. I don't I've never had matcha. This is from Bluestone Lane. My favorite place. I go there all the time in New York City. They sent a matcha lip scrub and a 
matcha lip balm. I haven't gotten a letter in my P.O. box in a while because I haven't really been talking about it. But if you guys ever want to write me a letter or send me, like, you know, a little whatever, people always ask me about it, you can always send it to my P.O. box. Um, I think I have it in the description box of my videos, but I'll make sure to include that there from now on. But um, I remember when I used to get so many letters from you guys, I still have them all. I put them in a binder. And whenever I'm having like a bad day, I look through that binder. So this is from Ashley Everts. Oh my gosh, did you just send me a gift card to Starbucks? <laughs> Guys, please don't feel like you, like, it's so sweet of you to like send me something, like a gift, but like please don't ever feel um, like you like have to send me something. Like I literally just love your like words and your like just sweetness. I, I love getting letters from you guys. Um, one second, let me, let me read the letter. I don't know if she wants me to read this on camera. Um, she wrote me a while ago. I remember her name and I don't remember why or what the story was, but I remember her name. So I want to go back and see, um, if I can remember what she wrote me, but she said, hi, beautiful. I have wrote you before. I believe it was a couple years ago. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate you more than you know. I've watched you from the start and you've never let the amount of subscribers change you and I want to say thank you. You're so relatable and genuine and caring. Whenever I see you, I know God is in you. You are such a positive light in my life. You've helped me through so much throughout my life. Whether it's when I'm depressed or can't get my winged liner even, I know it's hard to be open on the internet so thank you for being so courageous. You stated in one of your videos that you hope that you can help at least one single person. You said if you could, then it's all worth it. You've helped me so much. I'm eternally grateful for you. I started a YouTube channel in high school but got um, bullied, so I freaked out and took all my videos down. Now that I'm in college, I am so much more free. I'm starting my new channel soon. I sometimes DM you on Insta, but I feel like letters are a lot more genuine. Although you are a role model to many, I know we all face hard times and you may need someone to talk to. Just know you can call, text, email, DM, or anything at any time. Oh, there's a back here. When God pushes you to the edge of difficulty, trust him fully because two things can happen. Either he'll catch you when you fall or he'll teach you how to fly. Just decide not... Sorry for my shitty grammar, lol. Anyways, I wish you all the absolute best with everything. Never settle, never change. Love, Ashley. Aww. Also, I apologize about the gift card being only $5. I'm a broke college kid. I know you quit coffee, but they have the best tea selection with love. Oh my gosh, I literally, like, this letter means so much more to me than, like, the the gift card like don't ever worry like I appreciate that so much you could have just sent the letter and I w I'm still gonna like get all mushy and emotional I am gonna save this letter you don't know how much I needed to hear that like I don't know it's hard like when you're doing YouTube to how do I say it like at some point it starts feeling less like people and more like numbers and just comments and that's why I miss having meetups so much, um, and I would love to organize one soon, because I need to see you guys face to face, I need to hear you, I need to hug you, I need to remember that I'm doing this more than just for, like, statistics, you know? And so, Ashley, I just want to say a huge thank you for sending me that letter, like, you don't know how much that touched me, um, I love you so much, I definitely remember you, and literally the $5 Starbucks gift card is, like, the best thing ever, I you didn't have to send that to me, but I thank you from the bottom of my heart because I know, been there, done that, broke college student. I had like weeks where I was, I remember I had one month where I had literally like $200 in my bank account for that whole month. And I like ever since I started my YouTube and like making money off of it, I stopped, like my parents haven't really supported me since then. Um, I bought my car myself, I pay for it monthly myself, I pay for my student loans myself. Um, the only thing my parents really provide me is a place to live and I'm so grateful that they don't ask for rent or anything. But besides that, like, everything else I basically am paying myself. Um, so whenever those months would come where I had, like, very little money, like, and I was in college, like, you know, I was very, like, careful to where I spend my money 
and it just like it means a lot to me like five dollars is a lot so thank you so much I don't really like to talk about negative things but I was in a contract with somebody that really held me back for a few years and I didn't realize certain people were taking advantage of my kindness and now getting out of those contracts, figuring things out, I found out there's a few people who have really taken advantage of me in certain ways and kind of like just not been the best for me in my career and and there's also people who have taken advantage of me in my personal life and I'm finally freeing myself out of those situations and I don't want to talk negative about anybody or anything but behind the scenes last year I was dealing with a lot trying to get out of those things trying to like get paid for things that like I I was supposed to get paid like 90 days after completing a project and I didn't get paid for like seven six months um, and that really took a toll on like my life and I was starting to understand like once talking to more friends more influencers I, like people were like no you're supposed to like like that's not supposed to happen that's not okay and it started to click in my head that like I needed to get out of a situation that I was in and also my personal life there was just a lot going on so I just appreciate so much that you guys were patient with me for the past year and I know I haven't posted a lot like as much as I wanted to and I I really prioritized my mental well-being because I was pushing myself so much to help other people that I forgot to help myself I started going to therapy and that helped um, I stopped going to therapy recently but I feel like in a better place now I do want to kind of text my therapist and be like hey just so you know I'm alive and I'm okay and I'm feeling a lot better but yeah it's just been kind of crazy kind of wild I don't really know where I'm headed um, in terms of like my future I like right now have no idea what I'm doing but I recently started managing myself and like taking on these sponsorships opportunities myself and there were months where it was kind of hard because like doing everything just by yourself before I had like at least somebody but now like it's all on me and I try to take on like the sponsorships that come my way because I, I have student loans I have a lot of bills that come in and and as much as everyone assumes that like influencers make a lot of money we really don't um so i'm trying to just you know get the ball rolling and i'm trying to balance like and get out of like negative situations which i will talk to you guys about in the future hopefully so that you can know what i've been dealing with during this time but as of right now i don't feel comfortable bringing it up completely um until it's completely in the past but I just appreciate so much when you guys are supportive of like my brand deals that I do because I know sometimes it's like oh my gosh like a brand deal you know but I don't work with brands that I don't support or believe in um, I cannot tell you how many of those skinny teas I have been offered to be sponsored with and I just don't support them I don't think someone needs to drink a tea that like basically is like a laxative to make you thinner I just don't think those are healthy and so I don't support those but things that I do support like things that I try and I do see a difference in my well-being um, I, I, I like to share even if it is like two or three sponsorships a month that's where the money comes in I'm actually gonna stop into Target really quick because I need to pee and Target has a bathroom <laughs> that I can use I don't really know if I need anything from Target though. Oh wait, yes I do. I needed, I need a, a grocery list. Let me check my grocery list really quick. I'm just coming in here to pee though. But, groceries are also a thing. I love Amber scents. this problem where I love amber scents. Anything amber, I'm a sucker.
so far I found this four tabbed divider notebook which I'm kind of excited about I only found one um, getting myself some almond butter because I love this and a bunch of little almond squeezies Dijon mustard and some tape got her her favorite pure bites salmons and then I decided to try this wholehearted filet salmon I'm trying to find the treat that my dad always gets her. I don't see it here. 